Oh, dinky doomy hearties, and welcome, welcome, welcome. It's just me, Scotty McClure, the first lord of the internet, and the world's top broadcaster saying dinky doo to every single one of you live on Facebook Live, and we are streaming a little bit later than scheduled because um, I got involved over on the YouTube channel. So very, very busy man tonight, but lovely to have you with us, of course. Absolutely, Max, but great that you're joining us. Wonderful Jane McDonald. There's Brian Hall, dinky do good guy. Fraser John Edmondson, welcome, welcome, welcome. Lovely to have you with us. Always welcome, of course. dinky do from Dunedin in New Zealand, says Ronan Cassidy. Ronan, dinky do. I'm delighted you're down in Dunedin in New Zealand. Dinky Doo says John Boyle. Wonderful John. Good to have you with us. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Brian Wilson's watching. Welcome, I say. Stuart Campbell. Charles McLaughlin. Thank you. You're transferable, Charles. I think you had joined us over on the YouTube channel there. And uh, John Boyle, Dinky Doo, he's down in York. Lovely to have you with us, of course. And welcome, 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 I say. I hope you're all coping well. With the old coronavirus uh, about doing its stuff. Dinky do, says Gareth Collins. Lovely to have you with us, Gareth. Um, I hope Susie doesn't return, says Brian Hall. Susie 1 or Susie 2. Stephen McLaren is watching Dinky do. Tracy Howe, welcome, welcome, welcome. Lovely to have you with us on Scotty McClure's pop-up live on Facebook Live. Thank you, Scotty. Keep safe, says the wonderful Stuart Campbell. Hi, my friend. I hope you're well. And um, I'm working with an old workmate, Norman Ross. Fantastic, Fraser. Excellent. Give him my regards. Carmack McCuskern, you look gormly. Nice swipe, Scotty, says John Boyle. Yes, absolutely. The wonderful Gordon Roddick has joined us. Excellent. Welcome, Gordon. Dinky do. Spread the word, guys. Tell 10 to tell 10. I'm just about to uh, do a little bit of sharing. And if you could do the same, just to let everyone know that we are on big style. Wonderful. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Let's have lots of hearts and thumbs up from you. Peter Connolly, dinky do a very warm welcome. Great to have you with us. There we go. And I shall just do a, a share. Let everybody know what's happening. Share to the Scotty McClue big page. Kareem Zachariah, welcome, welcome, I say. Lovely to have you with us. Scotty McClue's live streaming on Facebook Live just for you. We've just been on over at uh, YouTube there. Brian Kessick's watching. John Jones and Albert Federmouse. Scott Grant, fantastic crowd tonight. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. But remember, uh, you know, we're not, uh, we're not, we've not got any coronavirus on here, so everybody can come and join us. Hello, Scotty, I hope you're keeping well. Kareem Zachariah, thank you for your wonderful generosity. You made a contribution to Scotty McClure's show. Very, very welcome. Of course, the wonderful Gordon Roddick, a great supporter of the show as well. And um, Jav Salim, dinky do welcome, welcome. If any of you are feeling flush, then uh, a quick £2.50 or a fiver into uh, paypal.me forward slash Scotty McClure on one word um, is always tremendous now. Um, who am I sharing with here? Here we go, share now. Uh, so we're sharing to the page. Always good to get this right. Um, you know, once we make it big time again, we'll get somebody in here producing and doing all this stuff. So I don't have to do it all myself. Hi, Scotty. I'm scared about the virus. It's been a lot weird. I think everybody is, Peter. But we've got to have some sort of sense of proportion. Thomas Hamilton. Hello, Paul. Hello, Thomas. Barry Corkendale. Good evening, Scotty. Hello, Barry. Lovely to have you with us. And Dinky Do. Excellent stuff. So there we are. I'm just going to put that we're live now and let everybody know if you can all do the same. That would be tremendous. Just a massive share. Just share it. Let everybody know what is what. Uh, Derek Park, welcome, welcome. I say, there we are. And I'll just put live now. I'm going to put this water over so we don't just accidentally knock it all over the place when we have top equipment here. So I'll just put uh, live now. Let everybody know what's happening. 
and we'll send that round. Live now, join us. Good. And uh, that lets everybody know that they can join us. I'll just post it there, guys. And that's gone out to the big Scotty McGrew page. Um, Scotty, my pleasure. Worth every penny. Kareem, but it was very, very generous. Generous of you all, because it helps to buy better equipment. Wonderful Mark Finley's watching Dinky Doo. Paul Tasker, Dinky Doo. Welcome, 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 I say, to Scotty McClure's live stream live just for you. Excellent. On Facebook Live. Wonderful, wonderful. Um, keep sharing and sharing and sharing. Let everybody know now. Um, I want to know how you're coping with the old coronavirus. Um, please don't worry, worry, worry yourself about it because that solves nothing. And stop, stop, stop panic buying, particular Lural, lavatory paper, levy roll. There's the wonderful Alistair King Dinky Doo. Scotty, a big hi to all the gang at Mighty Radio in Southport, says Paul Tasker. Dinky do, Paul. Lovely to have you with us. Listen, guys, there might be some big radio news coming for Scotty McClue quite soon. That's all I'm at liberty to say at the moment, ATM. All right, the wonderful Alistair King, one of our top engineers. Great to have you with us, Alistair. Um, what do you think of all this rubbish? says Thomas Hamilton. Well, we don't know what's rubbish and what's fact. There's talk. Panic buying does not help anyone, says Brian Hall. Absolutely. And guys, I don't know if you're followers of TikTok. Scotty McClure has gone massive on TikTok. And you will see one of my TikToks is about stopping the panic buying. The last one. You'll see it at Scotty McClure, if you're a TikToker, get on there. The wonderful Andrew Wishmaster Williams has joined us. Welcome, Andrew, and Dinky Doo. Is this the best page to stream on, do you think? William Christie's watching Dinky Doo, William, and uh, a warm welcome, I say, of course. But the one thing I think is important, uh, as I've been saying, hello, hello, Scotty McClure. Have you seen the videos from Spain and the police? Forcing lockdown, says Kareem. Well, yes, I'm slightly anxious about all this forced stuff because it implies that the authorities either are thinking this is worse than it is, so in other words, it's very dangerous, or um, it's, uh, it's uh, an, a, a reason to lock everybody down in the houses. Scotty, rip off Britain at its best. So there we are. Our trip to Euro Disney's cancelled. Um, we were going Eurostar. We called the train company. We booked return tickets to London, says Peter. Um, with a party of seven, basically told, don't care, no refund. So there we are. Well, get back on to them and, uh, and keep up the old press, I say. Um, El Salvador, listening tonight, Scotty, having a bath, so can't ring, but listening. Fantastic. Yes, we can put some of our trusted people on Skype. An excellent idea. I clean for the NHS. I'm going to be around it. I've got a vulnerable family. I know what you mean. Panic buying is leaving vulnerable and elderly people with nothing. It's unnecessary and just greed. Says Alistair King. I agree, Alistair. So there we are. We always have the pleasure. Good to see you, says the wonderful Stephen Mulgrew. Thank you, do, Stephen. El Salvador. All online food stores fully booked till Saturday. Uh, wow. Andy McMaster, dinky do. Well, I mean, I could probably afford to lose a bit of weight, and I'm not the only one. I could tell you because apparently obesity is killing a lot more people. I'm not saying I'm obese, of course, but, um, you know, I've got a good bit of solid muscle there. Scotty, I hear the restaurants and pubs in Ireland are being taught to shut while the virus is going about. Scotland may follow soon. What do you think, sir? Says Brian Wilson. Well, you'll always get the truth from Scotty McClure. There's talk about where the virus originated. Uh, there's talk that it did originate in Wuhan, China. But there's talk that it got out of a lab there or may have been put out of a lab, giving that impression, by another country. 
So, very, very strange. So we need to work out what's behind this and why is it floating about. Why are we getting a new strain of influenza? Why are we not following others into lockdown, washing our hands and singing happy birthday, says Chris Frank? I know. In fact, there are greedy people out there. The shop's charging more for products. Family now can't get baby milk. Tell them how they survived during the war with rationing, says John Jones. Yes, I mean, that might come back, the old rationing. I can remember there was a, an oil problem in 1972. I think it was. It might have been 73. And... Um, Charles says, Scotty, my father thinks that the coronavirus is here to give the world a shot back in sight. What do you think? Well, very strange. Um, you know, why is it out there at all? We need to find out more about that. And what is it? So that's what we need to find out as well before we all start worrying and panicking and what have you. Uh, so we shall find out what's going on there. Uh, couldn't believe it. Spoke to the wife this weekend. Um, no football. <laughs> Derek, you are naughty, but we like you. So there we are. Wonderful. So everybody chatting to the wife. I'm wondering if this might be a good idea to change football, particularly in Scotland. We've been talking about having Glasgow United. Scotty, no football. This weekend, had a conversation with the wife, just found out she was made redundant by Woolworths 10 years ago, says Peter. <laughs> Everybody talking to the wife. Scotty, I was in a shop the other day. The guy in front of me was buying three chest freezers. I asked him, why are you buying three? He rudely answered, he's stocking up for the big lockdown. It's disgusting. I quite agree, Alistair. Yes. What we might make it is that Scotty McClue is a great source for information education on here. I mean, we always have done information education and entertainment. But what we might say is that Scotty McClue is here as the absolute trusted center for information live on the Internet. So there you are. Because remember, I'm not blowing any trumpets here, but Scotty McClue is not just on one platform. He's right across the internet. Millions and millions watch Scotty McClue. So there you are. And uh, no one is saying what it is, says Thomas. Yes. Well, Viri, um, I'm using an ice. You see what I just did there? Viri or Viri are actually very weak outside of the body. There you are. Did you see the Italians in their home clapping and celebrating their health workers? I did, Kareem. It's wonderful. What I would like to see is I hope we have the old spirit in this country. What I do not want to see, there's Lisa. Lisa's watching. Young Alistair's watching, says the wonderful Alistair. Dinky do, young Alistair. Hello from Scotty McClue. Wonderful. We need to have a wee debate soon, Scotty. William, come and debate now. Put your point down and let's have it. Not a problem. Donny Richardson watching. Absolutely. I mean, I've always said, uh, you know, I should be the centre for that. I know we have a lot of laughter with Scotty McClue, but there's big serious as well. Um, and I noticed that um, Scotland is looking for a director for the BBC. I don't know if you saw that. So there we are. I was wondering if you wanted me to apply to be the next director of the BBC in Scotland. Very interesting. So there you are. The present director is leaving after, I think, four years. Somebody said, he's waving back. Hello. There you go. Wonderful. Lovely to have you with us. Excellent, everybody. Now, uh, Mark Shanley, what are you talking about? What a very strange thing to ask. No, I don't say things on demand. Because of the bulk buying, I've lost weight, says Derek Walker. Well, I know I don't have the coronavirus because apparently one of the first signs is weight loss. So uh, so there you go. So I think we've we've handled that all right. Good evening, Scotty, says Lisa Tarras. Evening, Lisa. Scotty, are you single? Says George Ryan. Why do you ask that, George? What a strange thing to ask. How very interesting. Um, oh, come on, don't be a killjoy, says Mark. <laughs> Wonderful. Now, 
Uh, get on to TikTok at Scotty McClure, and uh, you will see uh, Peter of trying not advertise the shops. Today I came across a guy with a trolley crammed with loo rolls and hand sanitizers. Told him he's out of order. He said, I'm only trying to stock the shelves. I love it. Uh, show us your fridge, Fred Elliott. Dinky do, says uh, Craig. Dinky do, Craig. Lovely to have you with us. A warm welcome to Scotty McClue. This is the big one. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 about Scotty McClue live just for you on Facebook Live. Saying Dinky do. Can everybody watching now share? Share, 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 share. Share, 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 share. Very, very important. Um, so wonderful. There's lots of people refusing to send the kids to school because of the virus. I don't think that's necessary. No, I think what we'll do is we'll take our, um, we'll take our steer from the schools and the government will be talking to the schools. So there you are. Fantastic stuff. Welcome, 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 everybody. You're watching Scotty McClue live on Facebook Live. That is the big one. So there we go. Uh, Scotty, will you do the show when the UK is in lockdown? Oh, I think it's vital, George, we do the show. So there we are. And uh, what we'll do with call, hang on a second. Just do a little bit there, a little bit there. Just doing a little bit of blocking, guys. Very important. No problem. So, yes, I think it would be good to do the show even with the UK on lockdown. Not a problem. So, what I'm doing, guys, just doing a little bit of blocking. Let's, uh, wonderful stuff. We love this. Always love it. Fantastic. Um, so, no, not necessary, Alistair. Good for you. Um, just doing a little bit of tidying up, guys. If you've just joined us, not a problem. We love all this. It's wonderful. Um, loving the narration. Sounds like you're reading a book. So there we are. <laughs> Pardon me. Now, uh, we've got lots and lots of you on there. And uh, we'll just, there we are. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful stuff. Um, excellent. Good. I think that's most of the idiots gone. Any more, of course, never a problem. So there we are. Wonderful. Uh, Martin, Peter Boyle, Dinky Durr. And uh, there's David. What we'll do with David? Good. Excellent. Right. That's a bit of tidying up to the stream gone, guys. Uh, wonderful, wonderful. Charles McLaughlin. What's all the fuss about? The beer aisle is fully stopped. <laughs> exactly. There's no cases in the school. We don't need to do that. Will we be in lockdown, Scotty? We might, Peter. We'll see what happens. Uh, there's Liam. So there we are. Just block him. Uh, Somebody said a swear word there, so there's a bit of cleaning up going on here, folks. We're having a deep clean of the stream. Is that not fabulous? Uh, there's Michael. Good. That's lovely. Excellent. Right. Uh, if school's shut, parents will send their children to be cared for by grandparents, who are the most vulnerable. Absolutely. There we are. There's poor wee Jacob. Wonderful. Excellent stuff. And uh, Fiona's watching, Dinky Doo, lovely to have you with us. Always lovely to have you with us. Thank you to everybody who has joined us tonight. Welcome, welcome to Scotty McClue's live stream. This is the big one. So what have we got here? Wonderful. Scotty, are you stocked up on toilet paper? Well, I don't mean to stock up on anything, to be quite honest. There's a guy, Danny says, you're meant to be funny. Who's told you that, Danny? Where did we get that from? Um, so, Lachlan says, what are your plans for the coronavirus? There we are. So that's what, we're having a bit of chat tonight, general chit-chat about things, but a little bit of chat about that as well. If you've just joined us, a very, very warm welcome. There's Fiona Summers. Hi, Scotty. Hi, Fiona. Can you say hi to Ashley? 
says Peter. Yes, I can, Peter. We can do a wee shout out for you. So, a um, little bit of housekeeping while we're on, folks. If I can just let you know that um, you can set Scotty McClure up as a skill on your Alexa, on your smart speakers. So there we are. Uh, do do that. Set me up as a skill and store Scotty McClure in your routines on Alexa. So there we are. And just say, John says, love it. German government meeting over the weekend. Our government back on Tuesday. It's very important that um, it's very important that we don't blame the economic crisis caused by Brexit, which will happen, economic annihilation and um, fragmentation, political fragmentation of the United Kingdom caused by Brexit, we have to make sure that's not blamed on coronavirus. Very important. Thomas is asking for the dog. I think you do, Thomas. Lovely to have you with us. And a very, very warm welcome. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Mark Jippert, good evening, Scotty. Hello, Mark. Lovely to have you with us. Excellent. I'm just checking the time. My goodness me. Can we have a massive share, please? Can everybody like the Scotty McClue pages? Yes, I need to get that. I've got 6,000 of you um, like one of the pages. It's just I want to get 6,000. Just coming up there to that. Uh, so, Alexa... Play Scotty McClue. Wonderful. A couple of dafties on tonight, says Neil O'Gormley. Oh, you always get that. Why would anyone have a spy in your house, says Gordon O'Reilly. What are you talking about, Gordon? I'm looking for Danny. What's Danny saying? There we are. There we got to see. There we go. Anyway, uh, fantastic. There we go. And... Uh, Oh, yes, there are a couple of dafties tonight. How interesting. Yes, we don't mind the dafties. I would imagine they find a stream like this and think, wow, Scotty McClure, the first lord of the internet, a one-stop broadcaster, live just for you. Gordon saying Brexit, what is Brexit? Absolutely. You know, it's not something I think will catch on. Well, we had that opinion poll about almost five years ago, and we're still in the EU, technically. There we are. Uh, Dinky Doo from Banach, welcome. Scotty, just thinking whilst the general public go about panicking, clearing the shelves, can we spare a thought for our doctors and nurses and hospitals on the front line? I salute them, absolutely. Alexa, says Gordon Riley. Yes, Alexa. Play Scotty McClure. Wonderful. Also, um, Instagram, Scotty McClure one. Get on to that. Uh, TikTok at Scotty McClure. Follow me on Twitter at Scotty McClure. Excellent stuff there. So what we're doing, guys, I'm seeing the dafters and we'll just, there we are. And, uh, Charles McLaughlin says, Scotty feeds on dafties. No, not at all. We can't help it. The dafties can't help being daft. And there's plenty of them. 1.2 million are trying to wrench four countries out of the EU at the moment. And it's called democracy, they say. Do you think there's uh, anything democratic? 1.2 million trying to wrench... 70 million people and four countries out of the EU. Oh, my goodness. Um, there we are. Jimmy, nice to have you. Excellent stuff. There we go. Um, COVID-19, the biggest threat to pensioners, uh, says Damien Henry. Not a good comment, Damien. I don't think we'll have that one. Um, State of shock, my wife's clothes shop still open, it's costing me a fortune, says Derek Walker. Uh, so, so we did remember, Alexa, there we are, yes, play Scotty McClure. So there we are, Kia's watching, El Salvador, Scotty, do you want me to Skype in 
Well, wait till we see if the Skype's set up, El Salvador. Usual rush because I wasn't expecting any Skypers. Skype is the most wonderful thing for this program. But um, the problem that we had, of course, is that um, some people couldn't handle it. They were too young to actually handle the Skype. So there you go. Can we all have another share, please? So there we are. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. We're, uh, what we're doing here, we're getting quite a lot of idiots out of the road. Um, so Brexit, is that not what an overweight person does when they sit in your chair and it falls apart? <laughs> wonderful, they break it. Brexit. Very difficult to say Brexit rather than breakfast. You know, the broadcasters have been doing very well with that. 15th of March already, beware the Ides of March. I'm just thinking this week, it's uh, 24 years since my father passed away. Big Archie, lovely man. Um, hi, Scotty from Pauline in Isla. Pauline, do you say Isla or Isle? There we are. Most Isla folks say Isla. And Pauline, you'd be too young to remember the wee Loch Nevis leaving from the West Loch Pier in Tarbot to go to Isla. Good topics, mate, says El Salvador. Oh, we discuss everything on here, El Salvador. I've got some advice about the corona, he says. Good. Well, we'll see if the Skype comes up uh, tonight and we can, uh, we can definitely do that. So there we are. I love the fact people are watching in Isla. I love the fact people are watching in Dunedin in New Zealand. I love the fact people are watching in Canada and across America. Welcome, 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 guys. Lovely to have you with us. Uh, I've still not figured the Skype thing out. Technology and me are not the best of friends. I haven't got Scooby. Alistair King, stop. One of the cleverest men on the planet. A man who deals with technology in vehicles all the time. So there we are. April the 3rd, married 22 years. <coughs> Pardon me. Why did she marry me? So there we are. I haven't got Scooby. Of course you've got Scooby. You just download Skype and off it goes. Right, let's see if we can get our old friend Salvador on here. I'm from Carluc. Originally, says Pauline. Yes, but you'll be too young. I know Carluc well. So there we are. I used to run um, the radio station out there. Fantastic. Right, so let's see. We've got it all on the go here, guys. And I'm going to see if I can sign in and see what is what. So if it lets me sign in, then yes, you can Skype El Salvador. So what I'll do, I'll pop up. Mm hmm Right, dot McClue. I'm going to get you Skyping in. There we go. Wonderful. But El Salvador, don't do all that pantomime if you're Skyping in. Um, you know, can you hear me, all that stuff? Let's get sorted. Check your kit. Check your rig first. Um, what have I got here? Just going to do a, a bit of checking if I can get on to Skype. Fantastic. Uh, can everybody share, please? Share, 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 share. Share, 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 share. Share, share. Right. I'm going to try this. See if it lets me in. And let's see what's going on here. Ooh. Are we in? Yay! Bingo! So we're in, uh, Mr. Stallione. You can ring us up anytime you like, and we will see what is what. Wonderful. That should be on the go. Fantastic. I'm not going to Hello, Mr. Stadioni. Hello, Scotty McLean. Thank you, dude. Thank you, dude. Now, everything going well. Yeah. You'll need to turn something down. We've got a little bit of feedback there. Can you, can you hear me now? I can, yes. No, I can. We can all hear you. Can you hear me? Yeah. I can hear you clearly, but I'm getting feedback. 
Lovely. Fantastic. Good. Excellent stuff. Um, how's things with you all? Yeah, I'm all right. I uh, seem to dodge the coronavirus so far. Uh-huh. You've dodged it? Uh, yeah, I just wanted to follow up, Scott, because there's a couple of topics um, I want to speak about. It's all about coronavirus, though. Yep. Um, the reason I'm not so scared or panicking is because when I've seen Boris Johnson talk about it, yeah? Yeah. None of them, none of them have worn a mask. Not Boris Johnson, not the people behind him, and not the people people in New York. Right. Same can be said about America. When Trump spoke about coronavirus, he had men behind him, no masks, and an open, open press firing questions out. So right. that makes me think: Is it really? Is it really this daunting, contagious virus that we should be worrying about? Right. I mean, what do you think, Scott? Well, are you a conspiracy theorist? I, I am I am in a way, but when you say conspiracy theorist, yeah. it can no longer be conspiracy when it's theory. So a lot of things a lot of things can be explained, Scotty, and they're still saying it's a conspiracy. But how would you look at it like if there was this pandemic and people in power are speaking on microphones with no masks, would you not be thinking What's going on here? Well, I noticed the president of China had a mask on when he was visiting Wuhan. I didn't, I didn't know that's why he did it. Yeah, yeah, he definitely had. And uh, I haven't seen Mr. Trump with his mask on. And mm -hmm. as I haven't seen Mr. Johnson with his mask on as yet. Yeah. Um, I don't know about the president of Italy and the president of France. Yeah, sure, I don't. I, I can't comment on that. All I can comment on is what I've seen. I've yeah, seen I'm, Trump. I've seen Boris Johnson with no masks. So that's so kind of if, let's let's be scared. let's take it then that it mm -hmm. isn't the big panic pandemic worry that we're being mm -hmm. told it is. Yeah. Um, why then would there be this push for lockdown? Push for lockdown, just just possibly to see if the people are buying it, Scotty, right? right? And again, it might fall into conspiracy. But to make a vaccine, the people have to, you know, believe believe that there's something going on here. Mm -hmm. So that could be that could fall under conspiracy theories. Um, another reason is just to keep it, you know, like you said, they don't know how serious it is, really. Mm -hmm. do they? They, they, they're not really, well, we don't, don't know. No, no. When you when you say no, when you say yeah. they, right? We don't know yeah. who you mean by they. But when you say yeah. they don't know how serious it is, mm -hmm. uh, are you talking about the people? Maybe both, but pr predominantly the government. I, I think the government. If if this is a serious case, right, and and they're comparing it to the Spanish flu and all that, yeah, I think they're very embarrassed. I think they're very embarrassed at the moment. So because do, I don't do, even do, think do, know do, where it's come from, Scott. So if do, it is, if it is serious, right. as I say. So do you think the government have been caught napping? Essentially, you, you could look at it with all what was going on with the world. You know, one minute we fight, we, we might be going to war with Iran. You know, you know, when you see what's going on, maybe the resources were so, in different places or, or people in power were, were fighting different things. They weren't ready for something like this. Right, right. The only thing I'm slightly anxious about is that I don't want the coronavirus to be blamed for the economic fallout, which we will most definitely experience from Brexit. Well, that's what the same has got. Again, conspiracy theorists are saying this is all designed to crash the markets, the stock market. Why, why would you want to do that, though? Because then they say that they can claim martial law and this and that. So there's a lot of conspiracy flying about right now, Scotty, mate. Yeah, That's but right, if, if you are claiming martial you know, law, if everything's in lockdown, and they were saying today yeah. that the army might be guarding number 10, I don't know if that's to yeah. keep people in or keep people out. So all that yeah. sort of thing. So say you've got yeah. that, um, right. what then is gained by that? I don't know because where the uh, so you've got you've got to look at you've got to you've got to look at who's gaining from a situation and how they're well, doing that. Well, this I was going to touch on this. Not only crashing our own stock market, but I heard uh, you know they were making their own currency. What was it called, Scott? 
It was a currency that the people were making. Oh, um, Bitcoin. Bitcoin, yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I, that, I, that's crashed. Right. Yeah, well, that's not well, going to... That's not actually going to come to much. That's one of these kind of uh, ideas that people buy into. Yeah. You see, so if you don't buy into it, you know, and if it's just something that you buy into, if it doesn't have an yeah. original intrinsic value, then there's yeah. every chance that that could just crash at any point. Yeah. So the value yeah, that people exactly. put on yeah. is obviously gold because it can yeah. be... Um, it's currency. You see, yeah. see anything, yeah, think, yeah. anything can yeah, be yeah. currency. Yeah. You know? You know, I, I didn't think anything would replace it anyway. I mean, people were getting on it saying it's going to replace the currency and then, you know, no one in power would that allow that to happen anyway. It's going, but anyway, I want you to talk on my advice about, you know, protecting yourself from yes, any violence. Yes, go on, yes. No, no, I hope you don't mind me asking you all these things because you're an interesting yeah. man. Yeah, mate, I feel more intelligent. I'm speaking to you, Scotty, mate. I can't get I can't get a conversation out with Mrs. at the moment. No, <laughs> 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 uh, no. Tell us yeah. what you're thinking about extra protection for people. Right. Well, again, I, I think you've watched this program. It's called When the Wind Blows, Scotty. It's a cartoon. Yep. Right, and it's it. And the government gives the couple some legislation. It says take the balls off the door frame and build a bomb shelter. Right? And that's how I feel we are now. We're being told to wash our hands. Yeah? Everyone knows to wash their hands to protect themselves. Sing, sing happy you know, birthday. Then, yeah. But I, 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 did, I did a video today, and um, I basically touched on... Remember, when you used to bite your nails, it was a wife's tale, don't bite your nails, you'll get germs like that. Yeah. Right? Why are the government not saying, make sure every family member cut nails short? Right. That's a big, well, it's funny, uh, I thought that thing. last week. I mean, because I have uh, psoriasis, I keep my nails very, very short so that it doesn't, yeah. you know, if it, if it flares up and becomes yeah. irritable, then, you know, I don't scratch it. So my nails are very, very short. And it's funny you should say that because when I was trimming yeah. my nails the other day, I thought everybody should be doing this because you've got all it these be, women yeah. with long nails, a lot of them false, yeah. but they're obviously a great harbour for germs. Yeah, exactly, a harbour all the bad bacteria, mm. Mm. and they're saying that it's uh, coronavirus can live on things for three days, so, you know, I'm just saying to your viewers, keep your nails short, uh, make sure you're wiping down, you know, door handles, banisters, even your letterbox and your, yeah, your knock right. up at the end of the day, you've got canvases that come to your door, you've got the postman, visitors, blah, blah, blah. Just take precautions, but what I want to touch on the most is this hand sanitizer business, Scotty, right? Yeah, go on. The ones, that, the ones that they're selling in local shops, and I know this because of my lung disease, so this is actual, you know, fact. The ones that they're selling in the shop might protect you against certain things like common germs, you know, household germs, mm. Yeah. But viruses and flus and colds, you need to have the ones that the NHS, the NHS have that are medically and they have the ones, the ones like alcoholic. surgeons used to scrub up and things like that. Yeah, these ones are going to protect you from viruses that they're selling in, say, a pound shop. Hmm. Yeah, you need the ones that have 65% alcohol in them. Yeah. Now, the other so thing I was going to say to you, though, people forget how absorbent your skin is. And, mm -hmm. uh, you know, I'm not that you're going to do this, as I say, but if you were to rub garlic on the soles of your feet, for instance, about 15 mm -hmm. minutes later, your breath would smell of garlic. And that's yeah, why yeah. you see mechanics now wearing blue plastic gloves and rubber gloves when they're working on engines because they realize that the mineral oils and stuff can be absorbed very quickly into the skin. And your skin is wow. the largest organ in your body. So if you are uh, using stuff that kills off bacteria, then mm -hmm. and that gets absorbed into your body, your gut is full of friendly bacteria. And you don't want That's to good. start killing off the, the friendly bacteria in your mm -hmm. gut, uh, you know, so yeah. that you're then unable to fight the illness. That's true, sure. That's quite, I know that because I take a lot of antibiotics mm. and when I take them, it destroys good bacteria and bad bacteria in the body. So are you saying then, Scotty, that 
hand sanitizers and pose that risk as well. I think I'm seeing soap and water. I'm not convinced that the hand sanitizer right. is adding much to it because you're only going to go spreading that around as well. Do you know what I mean? And also, yeah. uh, you know, people are um, touching their mouths and things, so they're getting that hand sanitizer around their mouths. Mm, yeah, and your mouth, your mouth is a little ecosystem as seen. well. Yeah, well, what, what I speak from experience, what I see in the hospital, Scotty, because I'm there a lot, mm. is they have that medical hand gel, yeah? Yeah. They use it, and they go over to the nearby sink, put a bit of water on, and they grab, they grab from a dispenser, like, um, yeah. what's it called, kitchen roll. Yeah. Dry that on the throat. That's what we need to do. We've got to dry our hands on rags, get a kitchen roll, and dry it that way. Yep, absolutely. So all that, but anyway, don't be saying too much of that. There'll be a running blooming kitchen roll next. I'm going to have to <laughs> dash, Mister Stanioni. Lovely to talk to you. See you later, Scotty. Great to you. Think you do. Look after yourself. What a fine fella. Bye bye. Bye bye, La. Right there we are. Um, that's him calling us uh, in there. Fantastic. That's what we like, and lovely to hear him. Of course, on the Skype. Do you like the Skype? Scotty, I'm about to get my neighbours together and pinpoint the elderly in my estate, make sure they're stocked up and catered for. I think we should wherever we are. Uh, Messi says it's part of Chinese culture. So there we are. Um, before coronavirus, they were always wearing them, the masks. Uh, cool. I don't live there anymore. I was in Ramsey and Peebles uh, and... Oh, right. Okay, right. We've got all that. Uh, prayers for all who are sick, says Denise D. Nelson. Bless you. I believe it's to cause panic, so people will want vaccines, says Nessie. Auntie lives in Lime Oh, you're having a conversation. Uh, Eddie is watching. Didn't you do, Eddie? Lovely to have you with us. <coughs> I personally don't take any vaccines or tablets. I don't trust them, says Pauline. Well, it's all very personal. So there we go. And uh, who have we got? Wonderful Thomas Hamilton, 9.52. Pal, I know I'm going to have to dash. Um, good for you, kind person, says Pauline. So wonderful here. And what we'll do with this guy. Good, excellent stuff. And uh, Mike's watching. Willie Drysdale. Uh, pay contactless rather than use cash. Yes, because paper. But remember the cash is plastic now, and there could be a push to get everybody contactless here. We do have to watch that. Pauline says the government will never tell you the truth. Well, they will if it suits. Uh, easy, uh, fantastic. What's that? There we go. Right. You know what that means? Um, most of my friends like that. It's so funny, says Derek. Wonderful. I'm just reading out your old stuff. And um, what have we got here? Uh, Stephen Lipton, Dinky Do. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Now, how are we doing for time? I'm quite actually, oh my goodness, it's time I wasn't here. Guys, been fantastic tonight. Have a wonderful, wonderful week. Share and share and share and share this. Very important. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. To tell 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 1,000 people about Scotty McClue. I am known to millions throughout the world, perhaps billions. So there you are. We're right across the internet. This is one of our top platforms, Facebook Live. And I hope you'll join me, God willing, well permitting, next Sunday at the same time. Until then, this is Scotty McClue saying to every one of you, dinky-doo.